I am here almost midnight to go on that bus to go out there and make our voices heard. Tonight, um, I'm getting on a bus to go on a very long bus ride um, to Sacramento to speak to the governor and other um, politicians there about the budget and cuts we might be facing. It's an honor, you know, to take this trip. It's not comfortable. It is the purpose that outweighs the comfort. We are the ones that are in the trenches and we are the ones in the front line and we want to treat these people like kin. It's not just about what's going to happen in the next contract. It's about protecting the rights we have right now so that everyone here can continue to do their jobs. You need to provide services for people to enrich lives, caring service, and that's not a commodity, you know, that's not something you can put a dollar on. Somebody somewhere knows somebody who needs the services we provide. And we can't just assume that the person next to you is going to take care of it. No, get involved. These cuts just won't heal. And yes, we're there and we see the community, but people forget we are the community. We are the public out there. We are the ones that do the voting. County, private sector, uh, and public sector, we all make a difference. Uh, now it's more critical than ever to have your voice heard and fight and defend the services that we provide for the people that need it. Union means that we're gonna do it together. Well, SEIU is leading the way. It has set the way in many ways. It has put its heart out. I, I commend the president and the vice president for being leaders, and I also commend the people that I work with, my members, uh, my, my brothers and sisters, for really putting themselves out there and thinking outside of the box. I am SEIU 721. I am purple going up to make a difference in Sacramento. I am. I am. I am. You are. I am. SEIU 721.